Springfield, Ohio. I'm so happy to be back. I hope you guys know that. I had a wonderful time seeing my son. Um, nothing quite rejuvenates me like that. Now it was a it was a difficult visit on my physicality end because my left hand was basically immobilized but uh i was able to make it through got a lot of great pictures um of course those are from my from my perusal uh, look at her checking her nails look at diva those are from my perusal uh but um still great to have those for the old collection and sooner or later i'll take care of the um the other side of of the child equation i guess you could say but i've um, been focusing on my son now unfortunately some disaster <laughs> seems to befall me on most of these trips, but none of them had to do with the visit. I was at both visits on time. I've only ever been late to one of them. Uh, and so uh, thank you to, I'll say this publicly, because uh, I think people don't think we get along. Now, we're not going to be friends, and we know that, and that's been made clear um, due to a lot of bad water under the bridge. But uh, I'll give, everybody knows her. She's been out here. Uh, so I won't uh, hold off on saying her name, but Faith was... Um, very kind, um, was punctual, right on the dot, uh, brought some crayons and stuff for him to play with. And unfortunately, he didn't really do much crayon playing because we were riding in that car the first day. And then the second day, he was just dumped out all the cars and wanted to play with the toys. There's so many toys there at the center that it's hard to get him to play. Like, even when I bring him toys, it's, it's almost, I will say a waste because it's cool to give your son toys. But there's so many things there to distract him. That, you know, it better be a damn good toy, uh, like like that car uh, that that guy had the first day that he let me drive him around in. Of course, he thinks he's driving, but it's actually me. No, he doesn't, guitar. But it's actually me controlling. I mean, he can drive it if I didn't use the remote control. But So he's kind of driving it, but I can also use the remote control to keep him, you know, going the path that I want. And um, this other father was there. Uh, with his son, and they took a spin around together, and then uh, Xander, Alexander, wanted to take a spin around, and the, and the guy said, there was not much battery left, but sure, go ahead. And actually, it ended up being two full spins around the center there, uh, and it was really neat, and I uh, never got to do something like that with him. I know that some people take that for granted, but um, as you should, you know, as things should normally be, but um, I, it was really heartwarming uh, for me, and... Uh, you know, it did cost me. It cost me. <laughs> it wasn't his fault, but uh, messed up my arm and um, cost me an extra show or two. But um, it was very much worth it. I don't regret it. That's why I do this. So. Dr. Nick sent $3. So you're telling me Xander's best moment came from a complete stranger because of his toy car and not you? You're uh, that's what a complete I s stranger. Thank you for the $3. Um, I didn't say that was his best moment, but uh, I said one of his best moments came because of that. Yeah. But thank you for the three dollars, and now go burn in hell. So this is Donald. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to finish talking with what I'm saying. Uh, one of the maiden reasons I do what I do. Well, first off, is to eat and pay rent and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but also to be able to go and visit my son, uh, which I've done every month since June, and it would have been since May. Uh, but they had to reschedule. That's right, no refunds. Uh, but they had to reschedule. So um for various reasons on both sides but uh, i've seen him every month since june i probably won't see him in november uh just so i can work all in november and then see him early december for like my christmas visit and then resume i don't know maybe mid-january late january it's not a month on the dot um but I, I try to see him every every six weeks i guess is what i'm on right now a logs coping and seething yeah i know god forbid another father how the fuck am I going to carry a fucking Hot Wheels car with me to the center in an Uber anyway, you fucking retard? Uh, but it did make me think about getting him one. Uh, and if I got him one, I'd give it to him at the center uh, for various reasons. But not to take, not to throw any shade, but um, I was told they only cost $200. I mean, I say only $200 is, you know, can make or break uh, here and there. But... Um, I was like, man, I wonder how much those cost. And then uh, one of the minders there said, oh, they're only about $200. And I was like, oh, wow. Well, maybe I'll think about that for Christmas or something. But, um, but yeah, that was very nice. Uh, fellow father, I didn't, what, would I, would I be embarrassed about that? Why would I be? I can't take a fucking Hot Wheels there. I maybe could have one delivered there. Um, but there would be no way for me to take a Hot Wheels. No way for me. I didn't even think about a Hot Wheels car. So... 
yeah, it was great. Uh, and it was uh, father solidarity. Uh, and we need more of that. Instead of faggots like you who jack off to fucking underage uh, drawings of cartoons uh, who think they're, you know, eight years old and who will never procreate in the history of your life. So just keep being a pedophile and, you know, leave the parenting up to up to fathers who actually care about their children, children you'll never have. So, you know, I know it hurts uh, that even a fucking degenerate like me uh, has children, multiple, and you'll never have any. So I could understand why that might hurt your feelings. I really can. In all honesty, I'm not even being a smart ass. I can understand why somebody who has nothing in their life, who, um, you know, jacks it to to pedophilic drawings and who can't understand how I have these things. Now, they, they are complicated for sure, but they can't understand how I can have these things. Out of all people, I can have these things, but you can't. Well, I can tell you why. Because you have no charisma, you're a loser, you have no game, and you actively repel women, women with your pedophilic obsessions. And so, you know, if you would like to I don't even know. You're a pedophile, so I, I'm not sure that that's curable. I, I, I don't really believe it is, but maybe get some help for that. Maybe uh, pick up some game. I've never had any problems getting pussy in my life. Uh, 180 pounds, 280 pounds, 320 pounds, uh, which is as fast as I've ever been. I'm 180 now. So I've never had any problems getting women uh, and fucking them raw and knocking them up if I want to. So... You can call that crude. You can call it whatever you want, but uh, I call it pathetic on your behalf. That's what I call it. So, thank you for the three dollars. And I almost stopped what I was going to say just because of that. But why? <laughs> I have a button that will just mute what you're going to say, uh, and I could have hit it even sooner. But I actually wanted people to see just the level of saltiness of me just talking about. I mean, a wholesome trip uh, to go see my son. I did fuck up my arm, whatever, but. Uh, that had nothing to do with him. That was me s sleeping in the airport. Uh, it, it, it really is amazing. You know, you're, you're talking about a wholesome <laughs> a wholesome trip with your son. See, there's the button right there that I can press just to skip your bullshit. But it really is amazing. Like, just, okay, here's a little wholesome. I mean, I would consider it wholesome. I don't know. Um, I think even the most deranged A-logs would consider that wholesome. I'm trying to give A-Logs a little bit of credit. Well, maybe not the most deranged. We just saw the most deranged. But even the slightly deranged A-Logs would say, oh, you know what? That's a cool story. Clouded Trigger sent $2 on Rumble. These hollow life faggots can't imagine that you having Joe in your life and bringing joy to your son. No father would ever think that way. That's why that father shared the car. Exactly. And he was a fucking... Mensch, uh, to use the term, since we have the Jewish lady here on the screen, he was an absolute king for let me do that. He didn't have to let me do that. He could have said, oh, this guy's going to fuck up the car. Matter of fact, when I was picking it up, I accidentally pulled the, there's like a, I forget what they call that on the back. It's aerodynamic, you know, the thing on the back of a Lamborghini. And I was picking it up and it came off. And I was like, oh, sh I didn't say shit, but I was like, oh, sh and I stopped myself because I don't curse in front of my son, believe it or not. Uh, that's not a good look, uh, just in general, and also they report everything you say. Uh, and so I said, oh, shoot. And then he goes, oh, don't worry about it. He said, that thing pops right off, and I'll just pop it right back in, which he did. And so that's that's male solidarity. That's, that's fatherly solidarity that actually is amazing. Like, he didn't have to let me use that. He could have said, man, this fucking white dude. Uh, he was black, by the way. I didn't say that, but he was. He was a black guy. And he could have said, you know, this honky's probably a fucking Trump voter. I'm not going to let him use my car for his son to have fun. Uh, matter of fact, it was him that suggested it. They took a spin around together. And then Xander was so hype about the car, he wanted to keep riding in it. Whereas his son was like, all right, I'm done with it. He'd probably been in it a million times. And so we ran around the center two or three times, and he loved it. Now, you know... This maybe makes me sound like um, some of these softies on TV, maybe like Kamala. But, you know, in certain instances, there are more things we have in common than, than have it, you know. And maybe he's a Trump voter, for all I know. Uh, he kind of carried himself like one. But, um, you know, he didn't for once say, oh, this white guy, you know, fuck that. I'm not letting this kid use this. Da, 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 da. 
No, he offered. First, he offered for them both to ride around, which I thought was fun. They were having fun. And then when his son was tired of it, he he offered to let me ride my son around in it. Our son. Some people will get touchy about that. It's not just my son, obviously. But um, I thought it was amazing. It, it was it was like old school, you know, uh, fatherly solidarity and just old school Americana, really. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm overstating it, but... I thought that was really fucking cool, and he didn't have to do that, and Xander did love that. And when he came back the next day, he said, where's the car? <laughs> Which made me laugh. <laughs> where's the car? <laughs> Which, you know what? You know why it made me laugh so much? Because that would have been the exact same thing I would have said. If I was nearing four years old and came back the next day and just had an amazing time in the car, the first thing I would have said would be, would be where's, the car? <laughs> where's the car? Now, we went inside and had a great time uh, regardless. Uh, you know, have, they have a bazillion toys there and everything. Uh, but literally, he said, where's the car? And I was like, oh, it's not our car. Da, 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 da. But he, he didn't cry about it or anything. And, you know, so that's okay, daddy. And talk to me and... You know, it's it's something uh, some of you guys might take for granted, uh, having your son call you daddy and, um, you know, treat you that way, even though I don't get to see him uh, as much as Faith, obviously, and her partner, who I've, I'll say this publicly and people will discount it or whatever. I think they do, from what I can tell, I'm not there, that they do a great job with him. And uh, he's always excited to see me and... He's never sullen. They don't, as far as I can tell, I don't know. Uh, they don't tell him, you know, this is an evil man you're going to see or anything like that. He's always happy to see me and calls me daddy. And um, so I, I give I give a tip of the cap to them too. And you wouldn't expect me to say something like that probably even three months ago, especially a year ago. But um, I think they do a good job. And obviously they do most of the heavy lifting because, you know, what do they call it? Uh, uh, Disney dads, or I don't know if I like that term, but the dads who fly in to, uh, you know, have the fun visit while they're taking care. And of course, you know, we have our beefs in the past and some of those will probably never be gotten over and that's okay. But, um, you know, I do have a benefit because I don't have to discipline them really, unless it's at the center and I'm like, Hey Xander, don't do that. Don't take that guy's toy. They were fighting over toys a little bit. And I'm like, Hey, don't do that. Come on. He had the plane first. The black kid picked up the plane. He goes, that's my plane. <laughs> and I said, well, Xander, actually, I said, really, that's the center's plane. But, but he picked that up first. Let, let him play with it a little bit. And then, then we'll get the plane. Don't worry about it. That's my plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, no, no. first off, it's neat. I didn't get into like super specifics, but first off, it's neither of yours planes, but that was his car. And, you know, you got to ride in that and he picked up the plane first, let him play with it. You know how three, four year olds are. That's, you know what? That's my plane. I'm like, Xander, no, that's not really your plane. Just, just chill out for a minute. And he'll pick up something else. And then <laughs> and then I'll get you the plane, which I did. Uh, but uh, he has a little bit of case of that, and uh, he reminds me of me uh, so much. Uh, not that he doesn't have any of his mother in him. That's not a shot at her, but he, he reminds me of myself uh, at that age a lot. Uh, Corn Pop the Bad Dude says, Killstream, still, still here, my dude. Just getting some stuff done around town. That star David would look co wonderful covered with my splooge. Now, that was a total non sequitur from what I was just talking about. But, yeah, I mean, it's automatic smash uh, on that. I mean, I might grab that chain and tastefully choke her with it. Uh, tastefully. Only if she enjoyed it, by the way. Not, not to harm her, but to uh, sexually arouse her. That's what I would do. But... Um, in true Ralph Amell Jr. style, yeah, he he was. He's like, that's my plane. I was like, Xander, hold on, wait. First off, it's their plane. Second off, he did have it first. Let's calm down. <laughs> that's my plane. He did that with one or two other toys, too. <laughs> that's just how kids act. It was, it was not a big deal. They're actually pretty friendly uh, most of the time. But, um, 
I don't know. Is that is that a bad thing? Is that really a bad thing that that guy let me use his? It's not Power Wheels. It's called something else now. But basically that. It's basically Power Wheels with an overriding control where the parent can control it. Is that really a bad thing uh, that it was, um, you know, crossing social boundaries, racial boundaries, where he knew I was just up there to have a good visit with my son, just like he was up there to have a good visit with his son. And he wanted to make that better because my son clearly loved that car. I mean, to me, that's a great story from America. And there really aren't that many these days. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overstating it. Uh, and he didn't have to do it. But to me, that's that's a great anecdote for how, you know, I know we talk about racial differences on this show all the time and, you know, this and that and Big Snood and all this stuff. Um, but this was a guy who had it all put together, you know, was clearly not the stereotype you would think or, or, or anything like that. And let me, you know, use that toy to, to please my son, right? Because he, he loved it too. So to me, that's actually a feel good anecdote. It's a white pill, even though he's black. <laughs> <laughs> where's the drum where's the drum roll on that uh to me that's a white pill and it's a it's a father pill right um and you know i what i could i guess i could have ordered one while i was there or whatever but to me that's that's a huge that's a huge white pill he didn't have to do that he was a really nice guy it's you know i won't get into his case but it sounded like there was some fuckery going on on the other side and, you know, I'm lucky that we've kind of put the fuckery behind us. Not that we don't disagree on occasion, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I'll just say it was a great visit both days. Didn't miss any days, even with even with the bomb arm. Um, and, you know, it, it, uh, it turned out it turned out really spectacularly. I thank you guys because without you, I wouldn't be able to go. And. I'm sorry I missed the shows. That really depresses me, but uh, that kind of had to happen. And so, shows an entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. Sergeant Bear says, I'm in a similar situation with my oldest. You probably don't remember, but years ago, I told you it gets better, bro. I remember all that, actually. Um, you're in it now, bro. Congratulations. Happy you kept fighting for it. Well, you know, I, sh I won't get into this on air because... Um, Someday these things might be played back. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will. Um, you know, there were certain entities and um, folks who wanted me to give up. And, you know, I almost did. Um, for one reason, I never want to give up on my flesh and blood. And I never, like, that's my default to never give up on my children ever. Because that's how I was raised. And not to use children against somebody because that's evil and the the people I'm talking to now who have nothing to do with Xander know exactly what I'm talking about. You're evil and you know you're evil. You know it's fucked up. And I just wasn't raised like that. I was raised in a hellacious home. I had most everything I wanted, but there were some events that I'll never forget seeing and being witness to. But when my mom got divorced from my father, I was never kept from my father. I was never kept from my his parents quite the contrary my mother would go eat thanksgiving and christmas dinner at the same table after they were divorced and she just thought that was uh gosh i guess just just the worst thing you could do to use kids uh against their father or their mother and so that's how i was raised other people weren't raised that way and so and i'm not talking about faith um but other people weren't raised that way i was and so as long as you're not hurting the child, which can happen, you know, there are some crazy motherfuckers who hurt kids. Like, I'm not going to lie, but I've never done that, never been accused of that. And so, you know, those people know who they are and they're evil. And I hope one day they'll come around and whether they do or whether they don't, um, I had a great visit with my son. So... <sighs> I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to not 
go where I, where I, my instinct tells me to cut a promo, but you know, it's, it's not promo worthy. Um, I'm focusing on my son and eventually I'll be focusing on other things, uh, as well. And there's a little thing called the law, uh, that you can't really get around. And so it'll happen. And, you know, all these good reports and good visits with my son is only going to stack the deck in my favor. So it will happen. Uh, I love him a lot and he's the funniest little dude you could ever imagine. And his little smirkish, impish uh, grin is amazing. And again, nobody would probably think I would say this, but, um, you know, I, I give the majority of the credit. Obviously, I have to, um, to, to Faith and her partner and even her family. Um, you know, I have had some problems uh, with her family, but, uh, you know, I, I, I really respect her, her mother, for instance. Uh, who kind of put us on this path, and, you know, I, I will say I've never been kept from a visit. You know, there's been maybe roadblocks thrown up in my way on the way to a visit, but if I have a visit scheduled, there's never been any, hey, you can't see him, or, hey, let me make this as difficult as possible. Faith has always been there with the visits, even when it was nasty. So I'll give her all the credit in the world for that, because not everybody's like that. And so, and you know, if she had her druthers, would she druther me not be around? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. But it's possible. But when it comes down to it, she's always been great with the visits and making sure, you know, he's happy and safe and, and feels comfortable. And so, you know, I have to give her credit for that. And maybe I haven't said that enough publicly in the past, even when we were fighting, which we're not now, but even when we were fighting, you know, I, I visited my son in another part of California, I don't know, eight to 10 times, something like that. And he was younger, but it was never, um, she, she gave us activities to do, she, she brought him on time. There was never any problems with that even though she, you know, she despised me at that point and she may still, but there's a lot to be said for that. And not everybody has that, uh, dynamic. It could be a lot different now, you know, if things change, if I want to go try to expand my rights and stuff like that, who knows, right? Like, she might not agree with that. Who knows? Who knows? That's in the future. Uh, I wouldn't expect to try that. Uh, for a long time anyway, uh, but uh, it, it was a great visit, and I give her all the kudos. Her partner, who probably hates me um, for various reasons, but um, I, I give him credit too, because I'm not there, and there's no reason to hold a grudge towards those who are there and who seem to be doing a good job, and so I'll just say that publicly, and you can clip it out if you want. I don't care, but that's that's how I feel about the situation and it was a great visit. Well, Trump. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.